Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. This is a really, really short video. Just to show you, um, it's a point of interest really. It's, I wouldn't really call it class as a discovery. It certainly is for me, for my um, system here, the MV1FZ. Um, you might remember many videos back, it was about 18 months at least ago, um, I did um, a repair to my King of Monsters 2. Um, there was a problem with one of the uh, prom chips on there, uh, the mass ROMs. Um, and it was just distort, you know, I put in distorted garbage. Um, I think it was the one meg chip swapped out. Sorry, it was the two meg chip swapped out the two meg chip for an EEPROM uh, 270-160, and it was okay. But one thing I didn't notice back then, there was a little glitch on the intro. If you watch back that video after I first got it working, you can tell on the tile music when I just reset it there. It's not doing it now because now I've just fixed it on this one. Um, just show you how here. That sort of noise that comes in can get distorted, um, and what's um, it's been, bug been bugging me for quite a while. This because it's on with this car, all my other original cars, no issues. Um, now you've seen there that I've previously done the PCM fixes to the multi cars, and it kind of was niggling in the back of my mind to revisit this car to work out what that intermittent fault was. It, it was very intermittent. You could play the intro maybe six or seven times, it'd be fine, and then you know the eighth time it wouldn't be. Um, and then sometimes it would do it two or three times in a row, you know, you could get it to recreate that sound glitch. Um, but having converted a bootleg into Fight Fever this weekend and finding that I get a similar glitch on some of the music, the PCM thing going on there again, even though all the problems are correct and there's nothing wrong anywhere really from that, you know, the implementation side of things, the, there's this random PCM thing coming back just on, the, on Fight Fever and on this game. Um, now it's easy to them to you know to jump to conclusions, and start thinking is there something wrong with my system? Well, I know there isn't. I, I've got the same problems with a couple of different MVSs, so it is the carts, um, and it's caused me to dig a little bit deeper. And one thing I found is it's the size of the capacitor on the PCM bus um, on the um, I can't remember this ADM PCMA. I think it is. It's the four megahertz uh, sort of side of that the YM two six one zero again. I'll just show you the board now, so I can show you what I found. So this is my King of Monsters 2 board now with the fix in place. Um, now you can see initially there I started, I, I, I scratched off the trace just near that via there which goes to, I think it's the SDR MPX, uh, SDR MPPX or something I can forget. You need to look back at my PCM car, you know, PCM fixes. But it's that particular pin, it's the 14th pin along here, is it A57 or something, I can't quite remember. But anyway, I traced it and it goes all the way up this fire and it's the little trace that runs to where you can see I've scratched off, uh, sorry there, where I scratched off and just you know tried to solder a cap, and then it, it, it's my own stupidity. So there's a cap nearby, and it's marked one five one on the board. I wasn't getting anywhere. In fact, that was making it worse. Putting a forty seven picofarad cap on that was making it worse, and I was like, I don't get this. It, it's got all the signs and symptoms there of being a problem with that pin. The, you know, the, old, the the sound issues was getting. I, was, I could have sworn is a similar thing that was going up. What's going on with the multi cars? Um, now, why it would happen on this original board is the other question, and this you know drove me nuts for a while here. Um, I wondered if it was the LSO8. I think the LSO8 is related to the, the prog chips, if I remember rightly. It certainly is on some of the other boards because I've had to fit an LSO8 in order to get the uh, addressing of the or correct addressing of the uh, upper, you know, the P2 chip. So uh, you can rule out the LSO8. Uh, now there are a few other caps on here that were missing. There's one missing from here, I fitted that. It seems strange, the only, you know, again, it's one of these, even though this is an, an, an official SNK board, it's one of the older ones where they were a bit slapdash with some of the components. They seem to just put the bare minimum on there. You can see there's loads of space on here for pull up resistor networks and caps and all sorts of stuff. And obviously, they slimmed it down and realised they didn't need many of them. Um, for whatever reason, but anyway, I'm not I'm not slating this. It's a good board, but I think with this particular one, the Prog 16, I think there is an issue related to the sizing of that cap. Um, now I could be wrong, but because I mean I've got Art of Fighters and that uses this board and that's fine, but again it depends on the nature of the PCM, it depends on the game that's going on here. So um, for the, certainly for this King of Monsters 2. Um, what I've done is I took out, a, a, and I've sidetracked side myself a little bit here, but the point I'm trying to make is I didn't check that cap, and that cap under here goes to that little via, and that via is the via where I scratched off there. So when I was testing with the cap on there, I was actually you know, having two caps in parallel, which uh, is just going to increase the capacitance, and there you go, that's why that wasn't working. It needs a smaller value there, and it's 47 picofarad, like um, the value um, I use for the uh, multi-carts. 
Um, I mean, something like 67 peak farad, probably all right. Even 100 peak farad, I don't know, but I've just gone for a 47. You know, 47 is one of those figures I have running around my head that I tend to use related to anything over sort of 4 megahertz ish, uh, really. It tends to be a good size to use. Uh, the scientific ways, and you know, you can use the formulas and things and work it all out scientifically, but um, th anyway, that's what I go with. I go with a 47 peak farad for something like this that runs around 4 megahertz. Um, and that's that solved it. That's completely solved it. I tried all sorts of things. I took the EPOM off. That's worth knowing actually. I took the EPOM off, dumped it, you know, verified it, and it was okay. There's nothing wrong there. I took the Mascrom off, dumped that, verified that, nothing wrong there. And I, I verified them multiple times. Um, Reflowed the, the PCM chip here. This has had a different PCM chip actually. I swapped this over from another cart at one point. It came off from my side Super Sidekicks 2 originally. So just to rule that out when I first got this board before I knew anything about the workings of these things really. Um, but I just thought you'd find it interesting that that's what I've had to do. It, even though this is an original board, and the only thing that's different that's not not uh, you know that's best spoke about this. Yes, it's got these two um, EEPROMs here that have been replaced. Maybe it's had a fault. I have seen other original ones that shipped with them like that from day one. I and mean, if you look at the solder on there, that that you can tell that one's been re, re, redone at some point. The P1, but the P2 that looks like that's been on there from day one. If not, it's been on there a very, 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 very long time. Um, so I do think that, the, and it's got a different checksum. This has got the checksum that in the Unibars 3.1, it registers as not good, and it actually is good. It's a, a known variant that's out there. Um, I've checked it. So it's just not in the uh, Unibars um, list there for some reason. I haven't got a clue why. It is a genuine, uh, you know, this they did some of these did ship from. Um, SNK like that, as far as I can tell, um, and then you know, obviously this VROM. Well, you know, it wasn't that was causing it. It was definitely this cap. So I mean, is it a case of if you've got EPROMs on here, you need to change this cap? I don't know. Um, and you can see I've added one or two of the caps. You know, I mentioned I added that one. I also added one there. Those didn't make any difference. I've left them on there anyway. There's nothing wrong with a bit of extra, you know, bypass stuff going on there. Really, that one's probably uh, related to this chip actually here. So um, it's probably not required. But anyway, that is now. I just you know, thought you'd find it interesting. That is now absolutely flawless. And it's a similar thing with this. Um, this is Fight Fever. Um, again, this was a puzzle bobble that I've converted into Fight Fever. Um, I really don't fancy paying 150 odd pounds for a copy of fight fever it's not a brilliant game it's all right i guess um and this i'm going to do the same thing on this um i just tested this and the same thing happens 151 peak forward cap there um just very 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 randomly with this game on this board you can get pcm glitches you swap that out for a 47 peak forward cap and you're all right um and this like i say just to reiterate this is not my system i've got i don't know 30 other original carts there and all of them are flawless it was only ever i've only ever in terms of my original carts i've only ever had a problem with king of monsters 2 um and it's just one of the things that i picked up on it a long time ago and just never revisited i had it in my mind i needed to either reprogram that chip because i bought that chip originally pre-programmed um, or I had it in my mind that potentially this chip had been damaged and that needed replacing as well. I knew it wasn't the PCM because that had been swapped out. Um, and then, like I say, when I've come to do this one and had the same issue with this board, Prog 16 again starts to think, hmm, you know, alarm bells ringing here, there's something unique to this board. Um, and that's what it is. Um, I'd be interested to know if anyone else out there has got a King of, Fights to, a King of Monsters 2 where you get that sort of random you know very very infrequent pcm glitches i doubt it you know i doubt you'd notice if you did it's so subtle it really is subtle but it's there trust me it is there um what i'll do in a minute before i end this video i'll take that cap out and i'll show you with uh, the 150 peak forward cap back in so you can hear this is with the cap back in right so that sounds all right let's just reset it that I'll do it again and again so it takes a few I've done just a few tiny ones there that's all right hear that I'm amazed. I'm amazed that I keep picking up these bloody PCM issues. I mean, they're, they're very rare. Like I say, I've got 30 of the carts and I play the, the other ones a hell of a lot. No issues. And I've got two two different MV1FZ. So is this a problem more 
the, there you go again strong you know strongly related to the MV1FZ is it more single slots in general it's doing a fair bit now that was all right but anyway there you go so um, 47 peak forward cap uh, to swap out that to 151 150 peak forward cap very interested I'd like to know your experiences you've got any games that you get so very infrequent minor PCM things like this you know so it certainly might be if you've got a Prox 16 it might be worth looking at that board and swapping out that cap anyway thanks for watching I'll see you soon